Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting Fecula Flyblown from the Worm Spat. I'll be using this model as my Nurgle Sorcerer in my Maggotkin army. There's lots of detail on this model and a lot to go over so let's begin. Beginning with the biggest part of the model, I base coat the dress in Athermatic Blue. Then I give the dress a wash of Biel 10 Green, because I think this looks a little bit too blue. For a highlight I use Skarsnik Green. I only try to highlight the most upper parts of the dress, as a dress shouldn't be that reflective. Lastly, I highlight the same areas with Creek Khaki. But wait, I want to dirty up the dress a little bit at the bottom, giving the impression she's been wading through some slog. I wash it with Agrax Earthshade. I use two layers. Next, we'll tackle the tabard here. I base coat with Shyish Purple. And I give it a highlight of Jean Steeler Purple. Lastly, I highlight with Slanesh Grey. Let's make a dirty green cloak. First, I base coat with Death Guard Green. And I give it a thick wash of Agrax Earthshade. Next, I dry brush the cloak with Elysian Green. And another dry brush, this time Ogren Camo. Now to make it look nice and dirty, I wash with Reikland Flesh Shade. And finally we pick out a couple of highlights with Ogren Camo. I wanted the dress to look unique and not just another green dress that I've been seeing a lot on this model. The purple tabard and dirty green cloak connect this character nicely with the rest of my army. Now to paint some ghastly skin. First, I give it a base coat of Rekarth Flesh. Then I wash the skin with Gulliman Flesh to give some shading. Now I layer back some Rekarth Flesh. And I highlight the skin with Palette Witch Flesh, just on the outermost tips. The tentacle Ficula has growing here will get a base coat of a watered down Volupius Pink. Then I reapply some Palette Witch Flesh to bring back some of the original highlights. Next, we paint the boils with the Yenden Yellow Contrast Paint. And I give them a highlight of Screaming Skull. Now I add Nurgle's Rot to make them all look slimy and gross. The nails I base coat with Incubi Darkness. And I give them a highlight of Thunderhawk Blue. This is a great way to paint sickly looking skin. Nurgle's Rot can be added wherever you like to make it look even more gross. The way I painted the tentacles can also be used to paint the gums and that weird blob of meat on her belt. Well, this can't be a Warhammer model without some sort of armor, I guess. So let's base coat it with Incubi Darkness. And give it a wash of known oil. Next, I edge highlight the armor with Cabalite Green. And finally, another edge highlight of Ogren Camo. Now 
This awesome looking crown. I give a base coat of Usapti bone. And add some skeleton horde contrast paint. Finally, I add a highlight of Screaming Skull. To dirty up the crown a little bit more, I give it an extra wash with Agrax Earthshade. Although I think armor is a little bit weird on a witch, it is a great way to connect her to my Maggotkin army color wise. I've seen a lot of examples of Fikula with black hair. But I think grey and white hair will look a lot more witchy. First I base coat with Celestra Grey. And I wash the hair with Gnome Oil. Now I highlight the hair with the original color Celestra Grey. And give it a further highlight with Administratum Grey. Finally, I add the last highlight of Wraithbone to the tips of the hair. Ficula has two bags on her. The big satchel gets a base coat of Gorgontra fur. And they highlight of Xandri dust. The small red bag gets a base coat of Mephiston Red. Then I wash the bag with Gnome Oil. Finally I add a highlight of Evil Sun Scarlet. The model is now really coming together when tackling all these little details. Next let's see how we'll be painting her weapons. On to the last details of the model. The staff gets a base coat of Wildwood Contrast Paint. And a highlight of Bane Blade Brown. All the metal parts are base coated in Lead Belcher. The parts I want to become brass are now given a base coat of Balthazar Gold. And I give everything a wash of Agrax Earthshade. When the wash is dry, I highlight all the metal with Stormhost Silver. Now the silver metal is giving a dry brush of Ryza Rust. And all the brass is given some Nihilac Oxide to add that verdigris effect. As with all my Nurgle models, I use this quick way to paint metal. The Agrax Earthshade, Ryza Rust, and Nihilac Oxide are great add ons to dirty up everything. With the Witch now complete, we'll be turning our attention to this, um. Nurgle Cat? I already painted parts of the model the same way I painted the skin of the Witch. The rest is now base coated with Blake Bearer Flesh. Now I wash all the green parts with Serapin Sepia. And give it a highlight with Creek Khaki. The horns will be the same as my Nurglings, so I base coat them with Black Templar. And give them a highlight of Thunderhawk Blue. The teeth and claws are painted with Wraithbone. And finally I add Skeleton Horde to finish them. And here we have a finished Ficula Flyblown and her um, Nurgle cat thingy. One of the more unique Nurgle models out there. And a great substitute for the very old Nurgle Sorcerer. There are a few small details I failed to mention, like the jar of goo on her belt, which I basically painted with Nurgling Green and Nurgle's Rot. All the bones were painted the same way as the crown, and I added some blood where the blood got for good measure. Be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of projects and behind the scenes stuff I'm working on. 
Thanks for watching.